right, welcome to Labadee, Royal Caribbean's private destination in Haiti. We are here on a seven night sailing on board the all new Wonder of the Seas. You can see it behind me there. It is the world's largest cruise ship and we are having an absolute blast. If you're interested in more information about Wonder of the Seas, check out our playlist. We'll have daily vlogs, full ship tour, room tour, all that jazz. But for today's video, I wanna take you around and give you a full and complete tour of Labadee. There's lots to see and lots to do. So let's go ahead and get it started. Labadee tour begins right now. All right, so we begin here by the ship. You can see the beautiful wonder of the seas parked right over there. And you do have the pier here. So of course, no tendering. You're just getting right off and walking into the destination. There's the welcome sign right there. And right when you land, they do have a towel station. So if you didn't grab towels on board, you can go ahead and check those out here with your Sea Pass card. Now, if we come this way, we do have a couple of photo ops. So they have the photographers out here who will take your photo for you. Got the nice built up little stage there to get the ship in the background. And then you also have the beautiful big Labadee letters over here, spelling it out. Great photo opportunity there as well as this shaded boat that you can lay in and get a photo of as well. So next to the Labadee sign, if we come around, you'll start finding places to come for excursions like the Wave Jet Tour. Hello, hello. And then we also have the Tropical Trading Store. You can come in and purchase different things like sunglasses, sunscreen, shirts, snorkels, swim shirts, shoes, different things like that inside of the store here. And next to the store, we do have some other sign-up areas. Snorkel Safari, Discover Haiti, Island Escape. They have all of the different names of the excursions listed up there. Ooh, Amiga Island. We did that our first trip here, and it was awesome. Highly recommend that. And then over here, we do have these shaded little... I guess you could call them tables. There's no chairs. You kind of just stand here, maybe set things down. I think it's more of a waiting area for excursions. You can do different excursion things over here at this building. They'll get you any training you need, any equipment you need for various excursions. And then again, it's a waiting area as well. They do have lockers here that are part of those excursions, I believe. I think they also have lockers throughout the island that are, or through the destination, I should say, that are available to rent. When we come to the other side of the building, we will see the boat dock over there. So that is for excursions involving boats. And then there's just like a little landing area here. So a great place to get a nice view of the different beaches and the different coves that we'll be seeing later on. This is also a good time to point out that you see here these rocks and cliffs and trees. There are paths that wind all through those. It's actually really beautiful, nice walking paths. I'm not gonna go down all of those because it would take forever, but you can go and explore and check out some nature if you would like to. I'll show you some different entry points of those as we go along. And as we make our way back out from the excursion, waiting and sign up areas, I wanna point out they do have some shaded wooden chairs here as well, some benches up in the foliage there. You'll see that throughout the island, lots of casual lounging spaces up in the trees, up in the shade, different areas, and of course out in the sun as well. If you'd like to get your tan on, you may do so. All right, so back out here at the landing point, you see the excursion area where we just were over there. We'll turn and start heading in to the main area. It's kind of one big thoroughfare with branches off of it. You can always check out these signs if you're lost, or you can ask for help at the information center. They can get you any information you need, point you out in the right direction, even have some cold water over there to grab as well. And I wanted to point out, you see here this path with these stairs. This is one of the areas I was talking about that you could enter the different areas. I'll tell you what, let's go up here just on this one to give you an idea of what it's like. All right, so at the top here, and this is actually the area for the practice zip line. So if you book the zip line excursion, you'll actually practice here on this little one first. But you can see what the path is like different stairs, lots of incline, uneven terrain, but you can come up and down these, wind through the, through the cliffs and through the trees and such. There's another path going down there. And uh, see it says, follow path to Dragon's Fight. 
So this just gives you an idea. Like I said, I'm not gonna do all of them. There's so many different paths that you can wind through, but now you have an idea of what it's like. So across from that information center and the path that we just went up, we'll turn and you'll see they have some beach wheelchairs stored back in that area. So they have those available if you should require them. They also have a hand washing station here as well. And you can go up this ramp and I believe this takes you to a cool overlook area. I've never been up here. Let's go take a look. Make our way up the path here. We do have an overlook area in the trees. Give you a great shot of the ship there. Or you can continue coming around. See how beautiful it is, all the nature. And this is what I was talking about. I thought it was this big overlook. We've seen it from the ship when we sail away and we always forget to come check it out. But look at that. Look at the ship, mountains waves crashing in beautiful blue green waters and you come around it's almost like a fort it's like we're on a fort wall here it's really cool and they have this big landing platform up at the top here see they have these different little stations even some cannons built in there get the beautiful view out to sea which is quite awesome and then you can actually wrap around and go into this area. So you see there, that is the landing platform for the Dragon zip line, And that's where you'll come in if you do that. I'll show you where you start in just a little bit. But uh, that's the landing platform, so you get off there. Then they do have this bar up here as well, just hidden in the trees, in the foliage, overlooking the zip lines coming in. You can hear the ocean waves crashing in. Enjoy the beautiful views all around. All right, let's head back down to our main area. And as we make our way out, we're at the bottom now. The bar that we were at was just right up there. I wanted to point out there are a set of restrooms here, as well as one of these other cool boats for a boat photo opportunity. A boto opportunity, something like that. <laughs> you can see the zip lines up above us there. That's where they'll come running in when they get done. With that amazing zip line experience. And now you see we have all of these picnic tables here covered because this is one of the eating areas here at Lobbity. So they include the island barbecue lunch every time you visit here. And this is one of the areas that they will serve that in. There are multiple areas. Sometimes they use one, sometimes they use both. Oh, look. Zip line's coming in. Look at that. How cool is that? And you stop right there. So awesome. So yeah, as you can tell, the zip line goes out over the ocean. You start up there at the top of the mountain, zip line down and across the waves. So cool. So yeah, here is the, one, like I said, one of the eating areas that you can get lunch in. They have plenty of tables, covered areas to eat at throughout this whole section. So let me show you where you get the food right over here. All right, so let's get oriented here. You can see the ship back over there. The information center was there, the towel stand over there. And then if we turn around, we see all the picnic tables, the zip line area right over there. So we just came through that area and now we turn in and we'll find where they are serving up the food. So they have some pre-made salads there. They have some pasta salad, watermelon feta cheese salad, American potato salad, sweet and spicy coleslaw, a burger and hot dog station. They have some rice and beans as well as corn, Creole chicken, seafood rice, barbecue St. Louis honey pork ribs, baked mac and cheese, and it's two-sided, so you can go down either way there to get those different offerings. And then over here, we have our sweets. We have different fresh fruit, cantaloupe, pineapple, different kinds of fruits and, and selections there. Over here, we have some baked goods, breads, sweet treats, looks like Oreo cupcakes, cookies, lots of fun stuff. So there you see the sign that says Dragon's Cafe. That was where we were just looking at the food. If we turn back around, that heads up to the bar where we were and the uh, like the cannons on the fortress wall or the fort wall, I guess you could say. I did want to point out a couple things though. Uh, right here, there is a bar and it has swings built in. So you can sit in a swing and get your drink there, which is pretty awesome. And they have a smoking area here as well. So now we're gonna turn and continue on in. Again, it's like one big thoroughfare, just has a lot of branches off of it. So we're gonna keep heading around the island here into the Dragon's Plaza area. There are some restrooms here. I'm not gonna point out all the restroom locations. They are scattered throughout the island. I just kinda wanna give you an idea of the uh, 
how many there are, the frequency that you'll see them, and some different ideas of where they're at, but I'm, I'm not gonna keep pointing them all out. So we enter the Dragon's Plaza area, and this is where we're gonna find our first tram stop. So they do have trams that run around the island, take you to the different destinations. You do have another photo opportunity here, the big Adirondack chair that says Labadee professional photographer there to get that photo for you again all the signs to help point you in the right direction and you see they have the trams here you can hop on the tram take it to various parts of the island take you further back so you don't have to walk the whole way did want to point out they do have some sign up areas over here for certain excursions like dragon's breath zip line and uh dragon's fire flight line different things going on there and i also want to point out that they have a map here as well at the tram station so let's just kind of have an overview here before we continue with the rest of the tour just to help you keep oriented the rest of the way so there's the ship the pier we came in went up by the fort wall and stuff like that saw the zip lines coming in there so we kind of covered this area and now we're on this like main thoroughfare here so we'd be cutting through the middle. You know, I have the Adrenaline Beach on this side, and then the uh, Barefoot Beach and Ellie's Beach on this side with Columbus Cove, the market and stuff over here. So we're just gonna keep making our way this way. So I've come off the main thoroughfare. There's the tram station right there. I wanted to give an idea of what the beach is like, because I'm not gonna walk down the whole thing. But to give you an idea there, there's the staging area for the zip line. That's where the zip line ends. We saw that over there. So this is Adrenaline Beach. And as you can see, the waves crash in here a lot, like all the time. And it's, you know, it's not very calm, but um, I don't think it's really made for swimming. <laughs> it's very rocky in there as well. But you can come out here and lounge and relax. They do have the lounge chairs, some with umbrellas. They do have the day beds that swing and are covered under the little huts there. So there are some options for just relaxing, listening to the waves come in, watching the people zip line here at Adrenaline Beach. And the further we go down, the more options you find of chairs and umbrellas things like that so just keep that in mind this is kind of what it's going to be like on adrenaline beach not too much swimming going on just more so relaxing at the beach watching people zip line and stuff like that they do have hammocks over here as well and even up in the middle there there's like some shaded couches outdoor furniture day bed kind of things in the middle in the tree so lots and lots of lounging options lots of areas that you can sit and relax looks like they're gonna have some live music here so that's kind of what's going on over here at adrenaline beach wanted to point out that along the way you'll also find little bars like that one restrooms and the big buildings the hard brick and mortar build buildings usually indicate a restroom more lounge chairs and then they even have these like covered loungers that you can pull across to give you some shade so lots of different options there something else you'll find scattered throughout are freshwater showers so you see this dirt path here this dirt road with the trams going down it that's what i mean when i say the main thoroughfare so they're going to be driving through here so you want to watch it when you're coming across that but they do have a sidewalk on the sides for you to walk on as well and then the maps again scattered throughout all right as we continue in here we find our next tram station across from those restrooms that i pointed out at adrenaline beach and then we turn on this side and we do find our barefoot beach club concierge desk and our entrance to barefoot beach club which is reserved exclusively for sweet guests as you can see there's so need the different cards like that to enter the barefoot beach club area all right i've been granted access just really quick to give you guys a look barefoot beach here again for the sweet guests so let's step inside really quick just get a look so they do have some cabanas here that you can rent which include lounge chairs and umbrellas and then they do have regular lounge chairs and umbrellas scattered throughout as well and there are different categories of cabanas to rent here at labadee some are up on the cliffs some are more beachside but you can get a look here just a nice quiet secluded beach area for the sweet guests do have a fresh water shower here as well the concierge can get you different things you need or drinks or food or whatever it might be and then you can head right out to the water here I've actually snorkeled at this beach before and had some decent luck saw an octopus of all things so uh pretty cool you might want to consider that even though it's not really advertised as such it's not too bad not too bad for snorkeling and doing some different stuff so there you can see they do have some cabanas again kind of like in the cliffs out over the water and then yeah, you have the buoyed off swim area there beautiful view of the cruise ship one of the seas 
and more cabanas on this side as well. So I'm back outside of the Barefoot Beach area now on the main thoroughfare, but I wanted to point out they do have a dedicated bar and more importantly, a dedicated food station. So I believe it's for the most part the same food that you can get over at the other areas, but this is just a nice smaller area dedicated for sweet guests at Barefoot Beach. So you don't have to maybe deal with as many crowds or wait in line quite as long. Uh, not that it's usually too much of a problem in the general area. It's just nice to have it right here too, so you don't have to travel as far if you're spending your day at the Barefoot Beach. Something else that's located in a few spots throughout the destination of Labadee are smoking areas. There's one right across from us there on that bench. You can see back over to Adrenaline Beach like we talked about, it kind of just keeps going along there, along the path of the zip line, that rocky beach where the waves really come in. Uh, that just kind of continues around. It's a little bit different over there. I'll show that in just a minute, kind of at the cove. Wanted to point out they do have volleyball net there. You'll find different things like that. Hammocks, giant board games like chess are, are just scattered throughout this middle area. It's too much to try to show all of it in detail but just to kind of give you an idea and then of course you want to use your signs here to help uh, keep direction help you keep focused on where you're going because it can get a little confusing because you see the main thoroughfare here kind of goes around but now it's kind of splitting off because you have adrenaline beach over there splash play area there we have the barefoot beach back this way for the sweet guests again and then it also wraps around here to Nelly's Beach that's the next beach area that you can visit so kind of a lot to take in here what I'm gonna do so we have this little tram stop here I'm actually gonna cut back across I'm gonna go back over to Adrenaline Beach I'm gonna show you this here in the middle and then show you the cove area there kind of take a look up at the zip line and then we'll come back across and check out Nelly's Beach so here in the middle is a favorite of young ones and young ones at heart this is a soft floor splash play area you see it have the uh, water mushroom there, sprayers coming out of the ground, the sprayers that you can turn and shoot at others, buckets that fill up and dump, and even a little, a little parrot in a boat that's spitting out some water there. So just a fun, safe splash play area there in the middle. Now directly across from the splash play area, you'll see this is where Adrenaline Beach starts to change. So very wavy, very rocky over on that side. And then you kind of get to this point where these palm trees are and there's a lot of rocks out there. And that's where it kind of starts to break off and you're not going to get as many waves from this point on. And that's why you'll actually see people in the water over here. Let's go check it out. So here you can see again that point I mentioned with the rocks. And then over there you have kind of like the jetty rocks coming out so it kind of breaks it you see the waves are breaking out there instead of coming all the way in they have the buoy line out there so this is a swimming area you can definitely swim here I don't know about snorkeling because the waves are coming in maybe on a calmer day you might be able to and you see it kind of continues on the further you get over there the calmer the water gets so a little bit of a change here still have the loungers still have restrooms and hammocks and things throughout it's kind of the same style but it changes with the water and the waves here at this section and here at the very end as I mentioned the first further you go the calmer the water gets hardly any waves rolling in here very very calm they do have some swings and hammocks built in right there on the shoreline where the water comes in so that's really nice uh, day beds canopy beds over there as a, in addition to the regular lounge chairs they also have some shade like kind of uh, tiki umbrellas you could say <laughs> built out into the water over there as well as a floating bar got the floating bar out there you can swim out hop on the bar get a drink float it moves and floats with the water it's pretty cool you can check out the waves crashing in over the rocks out there towards the ocean and then overhead you can see the zip line station up at the top of the mountain there and then the line just comes in so as you're swimming here they'll be zip lining right over you be lots of fun that's why it's called adrenaline beach right so that's kind of the idea here and that's basically going to end this part of the destination of Labadee. We're gonna kind of head back into the middle now, pick up back where we were. But I did wanna point out as we make our way through, instead of kind of just going back and then starting back over and coming back this way, we'll just kind of show you as we head back. You see here this big covered pavilion, tables, chairs. This is a bar and it is connected to the other food area here at Labadee. So see all of the big red roofs. When you see big buildings like that, covered pavilions that usually means food and drink you can also follow your nose like toucan sam because uh that'll lead you to the food probably better than anything you can see the smoke coming off the grill there oh they have some uh live music going on live performance and dancing going on here very nice
So yeah, here's a look. It's the same kind of setup as the other food area, same food that we saw over there. Looks like this area might be a little bit bigger, but you do have some options on this end of the, of the thoroughfare. All right, let's get reoriented here. So you can see the splash play area across that we showed earlier. Then what I did is I walked down the beach that way to show you the adrenaline beach. So we kind of did the whole side that's out towards the ocean and the zip line. Now we've crossed back through the middle thoroughfare and we're gonna head back on the other side, the cove side closer to the ship. So there is the barefoot beach, the sweet beach area that we already covered. And now we turn next to that. And what do we find? Nelly's beach. So Nelly's Beach is open for anyone to use. They do have lounge chairs here, of course, with umbrellas. As I said, you'll find that all throughout the destination here. And you can come over here. You can enjoy the beach. You can swim. You can relax. You can snorkel. If you're going to snorkel here, I recommend uh, checking out the rocks and the coral on both sides. Had a lot of luck there with fish and lobsters, things like that. So you come in here, do have a uh, life jackets there if you need them. Not too many right now, but it is an option. So yeah, this beach is open for everyone. It's, it's public access. Anyone can come here. And it's a great spot just to kind of chill out, swim, relax. Like I said, snorkel, do whatever you want to do. So you see there, they do have some cabanas that you can rent built up into the cliffs out over the water. Some of them even have a ladder. You can jump in and climb back up. On this side, they have stairs that you can use to get down to the water. So lots of options here. It's not a big beach, but it's, it does the job. It's very calm, it's very relaxing. Come in, like I said, snorkel, swim, and you get a little bit of a view of the ship there, kind of the back end. Look at the mountains and uh, just relax and take it all in. And they also have cabanas that you can rent that are more inland here. So up off of the beach. I think these are at a lower price, if I'm not mistaken. But they have a nice view and uh, definitely easy access to get down to the beach. One thing I wanted to point out as well, you can enter here for Columbus Cove, but we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna go back out to the main thoroughfare and come around that way instead. And as we make our way out of Nelly's Beach area, I wanted to point out they do have a bar here as well. All right, so we continue on here. I wanted to stop at the map because I realized it tells you which area you're in at the top of each map, and they have the different areas listed and what things there are there for each of those. So, again, just to kind of help us keep oriented here, we started here, we did that, we did that, and that by now we have done this entire stretch, shown what was over there. We came back through, and we, that's where we did the zipline training, the barefoot beach, and then the Nelly's beach right there. So that's where we've done to this point. So we are here, so what I'm gonna do now is kind of continue through the middle here to show you this, and then we're gonna wrap around here to get to Columbus Cove. As we continue here, they do have a hair braiding station with the price list posted right here. If you're interested in getting your, your hair braided, that is an option. And so there again, you see the big red roof. So that was the uh, eating pavilion, the second one that we saw just a few minutes ago. There's where they're doing the live performance. The food's actually right over there. And then the bar on the back side. Across from that, they have a whole built up stage right here to do live performance. Looks like they're getting ready for some music later on. And then this area you're going to enter to is the market. So what I want to tell you about this, see the sign says Town Square here, and you do have the tram stop there. The thing, most important thing to know about the market Town Square as we go through is these are not Royal Caribbean crew members. These are locals who are invited here to sell handicrafts or different things that they've made. So you will be approached and you will be solicited. So if you don't like that, I wouldn't go past this point because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. So let's kind of just step over here a little bit just to catch the very tip end of this area and then the tip of Adrenaline Beach and then we'll come back to this side to finish up. And again, use your signs. They will help you know where you need to go. So paintings and shirts and different kinds of art that are made here. Again, you can come and purchase from the local vendors who have been invited into the property to sell those different things. Restrooms again here and then the main, well not the main, but the, the main area of the second area that you can get food. The Labadee Cafe is actually what this one's called. I think the other one was Dragon's Cafe. This is Labadee Cafe, just for future reference. So again, I'm just going to take this path. Let's just check out the very end of Adrenaline Beach and then we'll be totally done with this side and we can go back over and wrap up over at Columbus Cove area. 
So here we are, you see the sign? Welcome to Adrenaline Beach. So we've pretty much covered it already. There's the floating bar out over there, but I kind of wanted to come back over and give just a little bit more in-depth look at some of the different things that you can do over here. So the, uh, the, the market did continue just past us there. They do have a sign up area for some different excursions over in this section. Okay, yes, this is for the Dragon Coaster. You can see part of the track up there. So this goes through the mountain and it's like an alpine coaster kind of thing. We are actually doing this later today for the first time ever. So if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to check out our day three Wonder of the Seas vlog uh, where we visit Labadee and uh, we'll do this and the uh, Arawak Aqua Park, which we'll be showing later. So yeah, this is actually where you check in, get boarded up on the on the alpine coaster here which is going to be super cool so that goes up through there just a couple little other things to point out I, I mentioned the day beds the canopy beds over there they do have a bocce ball court as well as a basketball court a little bit further on beyond here and you can see the track for the alpine coaster coming into the landing area there so just some fun stuff to do here at the end. All right, one last look at the map here before we leave the Adrenaline Beach area for good, because I did forget to mention here at the bottom, they do have estimated walking times to each area, which is really cool. Okay, we're done with this side of Labadee now. We're gonna head back in to the town center area, town square area, I should say, and uh, cut through the market there, and that'll take us to Columbus Cove, and then we'll be all wrapped up. All right, we're back at the town square tram station here and you see the big building there labeled artisans market as the name would suggest that's an area that you can go in and buy different artisan crafts <laughs> different kind of things inside there i'm just going to take a quick quick stroll through some wood carvings and necklaces and different things like that stonework different kind of things that you can buy here in the artisans market and it's a it's a big store, as you can see. It's a big location. So, got a lot of different choices. Nice place to get out of the sun as well. So now, this is Artisan's Village, and this is the area that I was talking about that you can actually like really get, I don't want to say hounded, but I'm gonna just be honest. Last time we were here, that was the case. So we'll see. See, yeah, they're already, they're already shouting out here. They just want to get their uh, their stuff sold, but you can get all kinds of local local things that the uh, vendors who have been invited in sell. They have paintings, they have art, carvings, clothes, jewelry, all kinds of different stuff here. The trams do go through this area, so you can take the tram on through to Columbus Cove, or of course you can walk through here and you see they're all wearing the bright orange shirts that designates them as vendors that have been invited in. So we're just gonna continue on through this area and then we'll be at Columbus Cove area. So we see our next set of signs here. So the vendors continued on up the hill, then back down the hill, through here, along the side. They just keep on going. But we turn around here and we find our entrance to Columbus Cove. So Columbus Cove is kind of a mixed use area. Right when we come in, we'll see another bar with swings built in, which is super cool. So you can get your drink on there and get your swing on there as well of course shaded loungers you can put them in the sun too if you'd rather get that sunshine action going on and then this building over here is the sign up ticket area for the arawak aqua park so you can visit there if you're going to be doing the arawak aqua park excursion and what is the arawak aqua park it is that stuff that you see out there in the water so climbers trampolines bouncy kind of things iceberg slide that kind of stuff out there in the water so that is a paid excursion but you can do that and have some fun there another fun paid excursion is the water slide so that's separate from the aqua park there but you can see you start at the top it kind of winds around through the hills and the cliffs there out over the water a little bit and then splash down here at the bottom. Not gonna, we haven't done it, but I've seen this slide many, many times. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty basic. <laughs> you don't go very fast and, and it's not very long or anything, but a fun option if, if you do wanna get some water slide action in. There are different excursions throughout Labadee and different areas that you have to meet, different areas that you have to go to do those. So just uh, check your excursion information. If they deliver it in your stateroom, you should have tickets for things that require them, or you can always talk to the shore excursion team on board the ship 
If you have any questions once you get here to Labadee, you can talk to guest services or information booth to uh, get you situated. They'll tell you where you need to go. So you do have an entryway here down to the beach. Some nice calm water because you are like fully recessed up into the cove. You have the the uh, the coastline blocking, the ship line, the ship blocking, the mountains over there. So it's just a totally recessed cove. That's why they call it Columbus Cove. And you just have nice calm water. Come for a swim, relax. They have swings and hammocks built into the water here as well. And then the chairs and loungers just continue and continue. So this is probably the biggest beach on the cove side, right? On the ship side, because it's much bigger than Nelly's or Barefoot Beach. It's maybe not as big as Adrenaline Beach, but that's over on the ocean side where the way really roll in so if you're looking for some calmer water a bigger beach I recommend Columbus Cove they also have a station here for floating mats that you can rent and use throughout your day so down here at the end of Columbus Cove you'll see this little desk that says Columbus Beach bungalow because they do have those little bungalows day beds canopy beds whatever you want to call them that you can rent here for an additional cost and use you see the fishing boats and stuff over there again for other excursions and just that beautiful view of the water the mountains and the ship that you can get in or get from here at columbus cove we're going to turn in here and i wanted to show you that there is yet another eating and drinking establishment remember what i said big red roofs big buildings structures that means food so there's going to be the shaded picnic tables they also have some adirondack chairs and tables out here in the sun they have the bar under the big like bell tower looking thing and then they have an actual food service station over here and it's the same food again the same food that we saw at the dragon's cafe and Lavity cafe but this one here is the what else columbus cafe because we're at columbus cove we have columbus cafe get your food here again all the same kind of things i will say as you can tell much fewer people here than the other stations. Hand washing stations are available at all food areas, of course, and then more shaded seating areas over there. And then that takes you back through to the market. I wanna point out there is a path. Remember I said uh, over at Nelly's Beach, it said to Columbus Cove, there's a path over there by the water slide and it's like a rocky kind of stair path that climbs through. It's really beautiful so you can take that if you wish instead. But uh, yeah, you end up here at Columbus Cove and this is the end of the line and thus the end of our tour. All right, friends, that is going to do it for today's tour of Labadee, Royal Caribbean's private destination here in Haiti. We hope you enjoyed, hope you found it fun, informational, useful, and helpful. And if you're interested in coming to Labadee or maybe sailing on board the all new wonder of the seas, we can help make that happen. As travel agents, it would be our pleasure. It's completely free to you. We never have any fees or costs whatsoever, and we would love to help. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video. You can also visit our website, hopinhappytravels.com. I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. Again, check out our Wonder of the Seas playlist if you want to see more information about the newest and largest ship in the world. But we're signing off for today. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!